Mr. Robinson, why are you so passionate about your career? I am passionate about my career because I want to show the people in the world and especially the children that you can express yourself in an art form, which this is still. You know, a lot of this video stuff has become real watered down. Uh, the technology, it's a double-edged sword effect, so, you know, now that the HD camera can be easily bought by consumers at lower prices, which is great, now there's really no way now is strictly talent. If everybody's got the tools now or can access the tools, now it's strictly talent to make these things. Uh, now, it's, now you have to have strict talent to shine above the rest, if that makes sense. Um, I've come a long way in my life and passion that drives me is really has to be the children man I just that's the whole point of this documentary to me or the whole point of any of this stuff man like trying to get attention in a way and this ain't no attention me 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 stuff but I want to show people that you don't have to be the, the person on the front line you know, you don't have to be the rap, you don't have to be the artist, you in the front of camera, you know, you don't have to be the football player, you don't have to be the, you know, the puppet, the puppet, you can be the puppeteer in life, still be cool, still be articulated, still get, you know, all the perks and benefits of the person you see in front of the camera. And so really, um, this documentary is kind of, contradictory to I guess the videography's creed in a way because video guys tend to seem to be anonymous and you know in the cut in the background on purpose but I feel like media is being pushed so hard to be this superstar this reality show guy or whatever it is that people are failing to realize that it's way more opportunities in life than being a spectacle in front of a camera. I didn't have access to these things growing up. Um, these things didn't exist. So I'm taking full advantage of them. When I went to college, that's what I did. With no cameras laying around my house. No computers, no, nothing of those, those sorts. So I'm just maximizing all the opportunities that have been presented to me in my lifetime. Mr. Robinson, what makes you and your team the best and able to deliver? I would consider my team some of the most elite out there now, granted, we don't have the big production trucks. We don't have whatever these other people be getting handed to them, you know, because of whatever their daddy spoils them. What makes us elite is the fact that we pay a, a lot of close attention to detail and, and are still willing to go that extra mile for people. Even though like I said earlier, the industry, the video industry has been watered down and oversaturated because of technology. I personally don't let that affect me. I still put my million percent into every project we do. Um, hard workers, everybody on the team are hard workers, you know. I never knew any of them not to be able to maintain a job in their personal life like a nine to five, they're all fighters. We stay up late, work hard, play hard, and always ready, very organized. Uh, Willie Curtis Robinson, very organized individual. Um, 
D, one of the hardest working people I know. Ethan, the man is a just organizer, man. These people are just built for it. And so, you know, kind of my goal is to stop them from working a nine to five. Because there still is opportunity and room in this industry. It's just we got to get to that point where it's fully recognized.